Okay. Right. Wonder how what size we're gonna make it. We're gonna keep it at a hundred. Whoops. Okay, I wonder how this one's going to turn out. Let's see what it is. It is. We've done many of these. Seed Star. I think that's how it's pronounced. S T R, short for star. Seed Star. So yeah, it's these guys, whoever they are. <laughs> so let's just put them on the glass. And we've got the Fringe Sydney Fringe Festival on the back. Very nice. But we're doing this. We've already done a Fringe Festival piece. So let's see how that looked. Okay, see how that looks. Whoa, that came up interesting. We seem to have more rock, more letters than we do people. I'm wondering if we're going to do that again. In some ways I like it, in other ways there's just too much of the title. I just want mainly the people to appear most of all. So I'm thinking 100 is just too big. We're going to make it 81.6 this time. Not quite as small as A3 to A4. So let's just try that again. We're just going to put it on the glass and try and slip it and slide it and see how we, we go this time. Let's see. Not easy to control. <laughs> Okay, let's see how that looks. Well, that looks a bit more interesting. That looks quite cool. I like that bit there. That bit looks really nice. So I think we can use this one now as our master copy. So now we're just going to put this on the pile. We're going to send this off to a waiting room so that people can have something nice to read and look at the pictures while they're waiting to see a doctor, whatever. So now we're just going to switch this to copied paper. So that's really interesting how that turned out. Just wondering. So trying to think which part is going to be uh, in the centre. I think it's going to be that. Or no, it's going to be that. I was looking at this earlier on, this angle angled piece. So I'm thinking that's going to be the piece part that's going to be in the centre of the job. So now we just have to uh, print off the others. So we're just going to put that on the glass like that. Let's see how we go. Okay. Oh, we've got to remove the reduction. Didn't beep that time. That's odd. Strange things happen. They do sometimes with these equipments. Let's see how we go. We're not putting it straight in the middle. We're going to make it a bit lighter than usual. Might get better results if we don't make it too dark and heavy. So let's see how we go. That's our first one off. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks really good. You can actually see these strobey bits that were that would have been present on the original uh, copy that we're using as a master copy. 
So now we're just going to print that one off. Okay, let's see how that looks. We're just going to... Oh, we've got a problem with the border. It does look a bit bordery just there. I was just hoping it wouldn't, but we're just going to... Just going to leave it. It's not too bad. It still looks yuck. I don't like big borders on my job. I just forgot which way I put it. I'm wondering if we're going to keep it like that or whatever it's I try my best to do a really good job but sometimes I just can't be bothered going straight for it again you know like going straight into it it's just so annoying when you get these little details that pop up and they just you just get the feeling it's going to ruin your job but at the same time you don't want to make your demos too long-winded all the time but I'm, I always feel good when I've corrected something so uh, I'm wondering if this laxness is going to make me feel like I have done a, a, a slap up job of it. You know, I, sometimes I have better days than others doing my work, my demos. So I just feel that sometimes I do a better job uh, some days than others. <laughs> I don't feel like today's been a particularly good day. I think yesterday was a lot better. So. Sometimes I just do things differently on different days, sort of. And of course, you get different types, you often get different types of originals to work with as well. When you find them on the street or you pick them up from a, a shop and they've got pamphlets on hand. Now, this is not lining up. Here we go again. We've got this problem with the curling, and it makes it hard to position all the other pieces correctly. You keep nudging the other pieces out of place. Now that, that that should do it. That's what I try to do. A lot of the time is try and hook the curly piece under another piece. This time it's worked. It, it, I don't think it's ever worked before. So now I think we can call this quits. I quite like it. It's a very nice piece. <laughs> 